This is cause for celebration. Trish is one of the family. Yeah, we both know you're all about family. <laughs> you're more than you realize. I made my share of sacrifices, but hey, that's my job. I'm your father. Shut the hell up! We both know very well you're not my father. I'll admit I wasn't exactly the diaper-changing type, but to say I wasn't your father... Well, enough of the lies. You're digging your hole deeper. Now, uh, take it easy, John. At least now I know the truth about where I come from. I don't know what you're talking about. Is somebody scamming you? Yeah, you, my whole life. Uh, can I at least ask where you suddenly got this bizarre idea? No. Let me guess. Corinthos? <laughs> of course. Come on, John. We both know you can't trust anything he says. It's bad enough I had to hear the truth, but to hear it from him? With that smug look on his face, Sonny, he was practically rubbing he my nose. made up a story to drive a wedge between the two of us, but we're not gonna let him do it. I got proof, all right? Gino Salito's my father, not you. That's crazy. You're gonna shut the hell up, stop telling lies, and start being honest, and then I'll tell you what happens next. How easy these are to afford? But you think I took Sonny's word for it? I went to the hospital records office in Spite and Diva, where I was actually born. I never heard of it. Well, depending on who you ask, it means Devil's Whirlpool, or in spite of the devil. How perfect is that? All right, so Sonny got some clerk to forge that, and you fell for it's it? It's the truth! Be a man and own up to it! But how are you so sure? I wasn't 100% sure until I saw the look on your face when I actually said it out loud. Yeah, I can hardly even remember that time. I, I wasn't always thinking so Don't clearly. you play the confused routine. Your mind is perfectly fine. It's your soul that's the problem. If you've even got one. Now, that's a little harsh. Harsh? You want to talk harsh? How about what you did to your own daughter? How old was she when you started using her as a bargaining chip? I didn't do anything to my whole life! Oh. I thought she was my sister until I saw that damn first certificate. Come on. Come on! How old was she when you started pimping her out? Now, Claudia was no innocent. No little red riding hood right down the garden. Yeah. Shut up! That girl was born bad. She slip on those red pumps and get her man in her son. Shut your mouth! I should have ended your ass right there. Yeah, but you wouldn't. She didn't deserve what you did to her. You need to believe I did it. But she was some fallen angel. She was a kid. <laughs> Even then, there was no controlling her. She saw the way guys looked at her. She loved the power. She used it. Oh, so you're telling me you want me to believe that she actually wanted to sleep with some overweight, overaged mob boss? All right. I knew Gino Salito had an eye for young girls, and the man was a pig. So you threw him your own daughter? It was a setup. I needed blackmail leverage. Oh, so Claudia was bait. Johnny, you wasn't supposed to go anywhere. But Claudia had her own ideas. Now you're trying to blame it on her. When you're the one who threw her into a situation that she couldn't even begin to handle. I get how hard this is for you. I get that you, you want to hate me and blame me for everything, but Claudia was tragically flawed. It didn't have to end the way it did. She didn't have to die. It couldn't have ended any other way, John. All her life, Claudia went after trouble. She, she thrived on danger, she pushed men to their limits. I mean, that's who Claudia was. Oh, she was my mother! I never knew it. <laughs> For what it's worth, John. I'm sorry. It's worth nothing. I didn't know why I had to send her away. I, I couldn't risk her telling you. Because you thought I couldn't handle it? No. Because she couldn't. Claudia was advanced in a lot of ways, but she wasn't a mother. What about Gino? You just thought you'd let him get away with what he did? He had something on me. Something that could have sent me away for the rest of my life. Oh, so now you had something on him. All it took was pimping out your teenage daughter. It was Claudia's idea to sleep with him. 
She wanted proof of what Gino had done. What was proof? Gino agreed to a big payoff to keep it quiet. Cash and favors. Nothing a little money can't make disappear. No, not this time. Claudia was no angel, but she was my daughter. I was going to take the guy out. I was going to offer him in his sleep after I got the money. Why didn't you? Somebody beat me to it. Mm. And the money. Who? <laughs> My blushing bride, Tracy. She married Gino and then cleaned him out. Right after Gino died mysteriously a few days later. Well, this explains why you always treated Claudia the way you did. She failed you. You didn't get your money. And you were stuck with a kid that was a constant reminder of what Gino did. No, John, you were the miracle that I never expected. The heir I always wanted. What a crock. You pulled a gun on me. You tried to wipe me out of your life. I was out of my mind. Well, now at least I know why you hated me so much. John, I never hated you. You tried to kill me. What happened drove me over the edge. I was literally out of my mind when I picked up that gun. And Maria knew it. That's why she protected you. She wasn't even my mother. And she gave her life to protect me. She was a wonderful woman. You know, I sometimes think if she'd lived... She could have been our salvation. We don't deserve to be saved. I was wrong about a lot of things, but I wasn't wrong about you, John. Son or grandson, it makes no difference. Everything I've done, everything I built, it's all for you. Is that supposed to console me? Please, John, just listen to me. We can get through this. You need to get the hell out of my house. And if I ever see you back here again, I promise I'm gonna kill you. Doesn't change anything. It's all yours. 